hello guys welcome back to daily entertainment bars right here on odati gh tv please if you are new here kindly subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon right next to the subscribe button and also don't forget to also drop your comment in the comment section below give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends and loved ones i will meet you i will, I will, I will write that up for my and make the boxing bar for you <laughs> 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 Charlie, I'll be good to hear from you this morning. Good morning, good morning, bro. Good I, I morning. Hear, yesterday you were here sharing money. Oh, I could, I could do one. You know, the legacy in program, he wants me, I know, come before. So I think I grace in dance or program for him, some of us. <laughs> you know, the dance or when I market, he just say, like, flat cup there we one boot but we they carry everybody go <laughs> <laughs> yeah but we try we're helping you know so i came to support him you know nice um, nice yeah. uh your 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 friend rb is here with me in the studio mm. and me i never knew you guys are back you guys are that cool really? no. wow me and RB. yes oh me, me and rb your rb is my son you know he was the first like artists that you know commercially to the mainstream i was performing with like on stage like hard like that you know, mm. you know like like when i rebranded myself you know i was doing that with joint those days bandana days but mm. you know rb was in the shatawale era and i call him like star you know i don't even call him by his name i call him star because you know i always told him he had something that you know i, I love so i um, mean it's, it's my son is my artist is like is i respect him a lot like you know and i really love him like you know my real blood and he knows it's my blood like for life it's just that you know certain misunderstandings just came and you know things had to just go that way mm. so uh you uh, uh you, his new song senseless life yeah he said you mixed it Private jet, I go buy some. I go <laughs> drive mama in a phantom. <laughs> yeah, I love that song. And you know, one one thing I love about Arabi is that he writes his own lyrics. But you know, like um, hmm, if I would give an example, like Lego, you know that Lego game that the kids yep, play. Yep. You know, yeah, yeah. He, he needs like some direction. You know, in his in his lyric in his lyrical composition, that's how I'll put it. Because he's so good, like Arabic can write a full song from intro to outro. But maybe maybe we might have to put a hook from the to the beginning or in the middle or bring a bridge somewhere. You know, like when you when you write when you're a songwriter, you know you need a, a song arranger, like you mm -hmm. know somebody who can arrange the songs for you. Mm -hmm. Like Marco Kukumante is good with that thing. You know, he has that. That's why he has more like high life artists around him. Mm. Bulldog has has that you know capabilities as well. Bulldog, you can write a song. Bulldog can tell you harmonize here. No, let's bring this here and bring this here. So I think that's the only thing that you know we've been you know talking about since I met Abi. But apart from that, like he's he's one good artist because the song he brought to me when I heard it, I was like, yo, um, he recorded it on uh, a foreign beat. And I was like, um, no, let us produce it ourselves so that when we are playing it, at least copyright will, you know, get to us. So mm. we reproduced it, you know, pack, you know, recorded and played the beat and everything. Pack recorded with him and I had to mix and master it. And it's wicked. Mm. I've, I've, already, I've already seen the hashtag senseless life. Uh, DJ Spliff says, bro, tell him to link up the video if the video is ready. Hashtag senseless life. Uh, uh, Charlie Spliff, you have started this hashtag. <laughs> it's a deep song and you know I'll, maybe i'll take this opportunity to even you know say you know condolences to um, um nana to four you know because he's one of my greatest highlight musicians you oh, know if i can Charlie. be able to write you know a song like uh, my level then people should know i listen to uh, you know people like him apart from amachi the day you know and um, kojenchi and um, we call uh, mohini bakisi you know i listen to all of them so condolences to his family and you know um we will dedicate this song to everybody to also you know to take that opportunity to mourn for him at this time of you know you know yeah. Yeah. well well it's, it's it's a very unfortunate situation I know, but, your voice has just changed i know I, I know you love him i can see you love oh, him yeah, but, you know, that's my uncle though, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, um um so for now you, you and rb are, are back are we going to hear a collaboration with you and rb 
most definitely most it was it was the corona time because when he recorded the song he, he wanted to shoot a video asap but you know that's one thing i also like about him like he likes to push himself so like rb works so hard in in his life not in music you know he, he likes to you know make money some corner money you know sometimes you know he used to he used to give me money when those days i was in nearby but after then i'll be bring me like you know ten thousand twenty thousand you know like oh daddy take this one say, hey what with the <laughs> yeah, you know, but you know why? Why you even left me? He made me get pissed because this this is someone that you know I never had a brother. You know, like I have sisters. You know, my father never gave me a boy. So when I met him, he was like close, so close to me. You know, so basically we're gonna you know do something. You know, a collab collaboration, and I'm, I'm waiting for him to shoot this video. Then then we 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 get we get to do ours too as well. So it's in the pipeline. Right, I see. Okay, so if if uh, B has come back, that means there's a possibility that the militants may come back. Uh, the possibility is just that you know, if 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 they only would want to change their mentality of what they are doing around right now, because like I'm saying about Arabi, Arabi writes his own lyrics. Arabi is good in composition. When I met him, he was already rapping. He had like demos with rap songs, like a whole lot of songs. I get what I'm saying. Mm. But I am saying things for people to really get me clear on the militants that with their compositions, I get what I'm saying, mm. and things they want. Like, Andy, you just play this song. See the way you said you love it, you want to keep it. He told you it's not out, but you still want to play it and promote it for him. That is music. When it hits you, you feel no pain. Mm. You get me? Yeah, so um, I'm not hating on the militants, or I'm just, I'm just trying to tarnish their image or something, but I just want them to learn like this, you know? Because Arabi had songs that I, go, I always tell him, if, if he's there, I can ask him and he'll tell you that, no, this is not nice, go and do another one. This is not nice, go and do another one. And today, if he can record this song and come and show it to me and I say, no, let's reproduce it and I'll mix it and master it, then you should know that he has done something that has touched my heart and that is what you are feeling today. And I thank God that you, you said you want to play it, you want to promote it for him and that is my dream for each and every one of them that come around me. So uh, if the militants can also work like this and, you know, make the movement proud, it's to their benefit, but not for me. You get me? Mm. But, uh, so in, in this case, Bashata, what's so wrong if someone writes a song for you? Or if you can't write your own songs? What's so wrong with it? I mean, Michael Jackson, people wrote songs for him. Exactly, exactly. So that is what I want, like, my militants to know that. If you can't write, be bold and tell me, shut up, I can't write, and I'll write for you. But if you want to go out there and tell people that when you write songs, I say it's not good, it means you have not taken a stand in your musical career. Are you getting what I'm saying? Mm. Beyonce, all them people, people write songs for them. They are good writers for everybody. You know, so if one, if I, I, I hadn't come out to even say to people this, this well, like people wouldn't know that even taking over and all those songs, you know, I wrote it for them. You know, but they are trying to fight, you know, the natural cause. And we, you can't fight, you know, the wind and the sun. I mean, the sun. You can't fight, you can't fight, you can't fight them. You know, you just have to be, be real to me. Shut up. I can't write. Please write for me. But don't go out there and be pretending like you can write and I'm not bringing the songs out. Because I am not loving what you are doing. And that is not commercial for an industry to play on radio. So basically, that, that's it. You know, they, they've not taken a stand. If they've taken a stand, they can come and tell you, like, as joints came on radio, he could have told you that, oh, um, uh, Andy, no credit here, but compare. And I'm not meant to make sure. That one, I'll take you back. I get what I'm saying. Mm. That one, it, it won't even be like this hula baloo, go back and forth and that kind of thing. Like, But if you come on radio and you want to give, like, like you also know, you know, because you've learned some small things from me. So, shut up, there'll be guest studio. Shata, there'll be if you see the mic in back. No, you do pack, pack, pack. No, it's, it, it is not like that. It, 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 that's why I would say kudos to Arabi because Arabi has done what he has to do. And, you know, I'm, I'm really loving his improvement. And I believe he has more songs that he has not even played for me to listen now. And I and I think he has, you know, a good a good path to, 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 to chart on. And God will also bless him, you know, for listening to me and, you know, coming out even to play this song on radio. You know, but but you ha, has anyone written a song for you? Me, Bulldog has even written a song for me before. Bayoski has written a song for me before. Like, if you even ask RB, when I'm in the studio and I'm recording, I share ideas with everybody. And last time, Jones came on radio and wanted to talk like that is how he is, but that is not how he is. He doesn't share ideas. 
but those are that's, that is my way of life. Oh, Andy, while well, I'm listening, I want to say this thing. How do you say it well in tree? Oh, Andy, I want to say this in English. How do you say it in English? Mm. So when the song comes out like that, people might think it's my idea, but it's, I only have the melodies and the timing and the composition right. But the ideas that come, come from the whole clique. Mm. All my boys can testify to that. When Deportee was with me, all my boys, you know, so I wonder why sometimes they can also, you know, be real to me and tell me, Charlie, I know Gofi do this, so I did do them, help me. Like, I'm business-minded. Oh, Shata, how Gofi be business-minded? Oh, let's sit down and talk. You know, so I, I can also teach you, but these are, you know, people where, you know, I don't know, like, they don't see me like a, a brother or I don't know. Like, you tell them things and they take it to heart, you know, and I, I feel bad sometimes about it. But I am also a normal human being that asks for directions, that asks for, you know, advice, that asks for, you know, certain things that can make me who I want to be in life. Mm. You see, well, I won't take too much of your time, but well, the interview is all about me. I just, I just had to invite you in because uh, he mentioned you that you, uh, uh, you, you mixed and, and mastered it. Uh, and so I needed to commend you for that. For me, I love it. It's a, it's, it's a beautiful song. Thank you. And, thank and, and if you can also use your platform to help push it, mm, uh, yeah. that, that, mm. that, at least a little support you can also do for a brother. For this one, I mean, this one, it won't, it won't cost anything. Or No, 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 no. But uh, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm happy he's on radio today, and I'm happy, like, he's, like, you know, like spitting everything out from his heart and that is what I, I i want you know people to really know about me that you know i care and love but you know um sometimes misunderstanding comes and you know we just have to understand it from each other and just move on so well, like this a song like this why not i'm i'm going to push it with my even the video i'm going to be in the video as well so that's, that's where, yes uh, i'm going to be one of the actors i'll act for him in the video <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for talking to us shata Thank you too. Thank I, you too. I wish, I wish you all the best. I will Thank catch you, you for the corner then and meow you small. You do. I beg you, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that was Shatawale talking to us about uh, uh, RB. Well, too many comments for you, especially the song. Freak Empire says, Andy, the senseless life, the beep power. Please play it again and again and tell him to do a remix with King Sark, but still, one kid to go. <laughs> you people, they want trouble. Mr. I should have asked Shata about uh, uh, Sark. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you go feature sack. <laughs> you say why not? If, I mean, why not go love feature? It's one of the greatest in Ghana. So, <laughs> well, last two says I sure said this track be the reason why Wale sack the militants. The track the B, Wale will go like quit. <laughs> 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 this talent is there, and I'm wasting my money on this milli milli milli. <laughs> <laughs> uh, King Kwa just says, Andy, will you be surprised if one don't message you right now that RB is better than him? Well, uh, I won't be surprised. Okay. Nana B, Nana Boache says, Brandy Dusty, I think RB speaks so well and chooses words carefully. Big ups to him. Uh, Otu Boy says, Andy Dusty, tell him to mention so we can praise and know those helping their fellow. Okay, well, he just did. He mentioned Shatawale. Pandora 7 says, please ask him if he has also turned down other underground artists and why. Very good question. <laughs> you you have been turned down. Yeah. And so he's asking whether you've also turned other people yeah, down. Yeah, I have turned down underground artists as well. Why? Because because they refuse to learn. Like, some of them, um, they just send you a song. Mm. They don't call you and all that. They just send you a song to listen. <laughs> just like that. Like, right. I'm 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 some distant listener. <laughs> <laughs> so listen Listening machine. Yeah, so I'm supposed to ask you who is this before you come and tell me some stuff like oh blah blah blah. Beg you, Goofy, help me for the song. And sometimes when you listen to the song, it's not good. So obviously I have to turn it down or I have to uh, raise the price or something so that you don't just pay so we do it or something. Mm. Yeah, but I mean if it's good, I, sometimes I don't need to um, charge you or something. We just. I can just help you out when it's good. You understand? Yeah. Well, Andy Dusty Bar said, hey, this one, I've not seen him before. <laughs> Andy Dusty Bar, wow. He says, Daddy, uh, the guy is dope. Daddy, ask him his tribe. Uh, he should do, he should keep the fire burning. Well, 
Which tribe? Which tribe are you? I'm a Ga. Ga. Wow. A random tech and blogger says, Andy, yesterday, Shatawale said there are only two dancehall artists in Ghana, himself and Stoneboy on yard settings. He said no one should come and say he or she is a dancehall artist. And he asked him what is his take on this issue. Oh, if this question had come earlier, I would have asked him when he called. Anyway, uh, what's your take on it? My take on it is that the two of them are the best dancer artists Ghana has ever provided, and they are the most uh, relevant artists. That they are like this uh, vibes cutter and movado mm-hmm. here. Aside them, I don't. I mean, we do have regular. You hear some Indian, but these two are the most relevant and strong. You know, people that we can talk about. So aside them, I, I can agree unless uh, somebody has. Some kind of, you know. In, in this case, where would you put or where would you place Samini? Samini, I will. Samini is a godfather still, you know. Just like the two of them, you mm. know, the three of them has really hustled out. Mm. You know, the, the three S's. Like, when you take Saka, it's not really a dance hall regardless. Mm. But when you take the three S's, which is Shata, Stoneboy, and Samini, I mean, they have worked hard mm. for people in Ghana who do dance or to be recognized without them it would have been hard because they basically did what is called sting mm-hmm. in Ghana mm-hmm. you understand sting you see two artists clash clash you understand but they basically did it here with styles you see and they did what nobody I mean what they did back then is legendary when stone they come stage you see say yeah when Wale Fire. comes they say yes yes I mean yeah but apart from the who again <laughs> Dance or artists, the people where they, they do the way they, they do them all right, yes, fine. I mean, big ups to other artists, like I don't mention it, but big, big them up, right? Me, they don't go come here, come big my name up, so <laughs> yeah. But well, Brad James says, and the police ask Arabi what motivated him to do music. I, I dropped out of school. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I never wrote my SSE up to now, really, really, yeah. But you speak so well. Yeah, because I came from a home, not a house, you see. <laughs> <laughs> I like but that. when I dropped out of school, um, for certain things that I didn't do, I was sucked out, but I actually left out. So I followed a dream and felt like when I follow my dream, I can come back to school. So I still did courses after I dropped out of school, even though I haven't written my SSC. Mm-hmm. So it motivated me because I was doing rap battles in school. That was what I was good at. So I feel like, yo, let me kick on the dream. Because, you know. I see. Papa Kosirodi says, I'm really enjoying Arabi's interview. He's very blunt and succinct with his responses. He knows how to swiftly make room for more questions. I've not really heard most of his songs, but I think I'm beginning to like him as an artist. For example, I can't to say, sometimes I get confused about Shata and the people around him. Today, they will say this, and the next day, boom, different thing. They should stop playing with our minds. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Joseph Animla is asking, why is Wally called Random Well, he's answered. Nana Boy says, the guy is so real. I just like him. We should go back to the SM. Shatter needs him more. Billy Ajay Jr. One says, and please, why won't you call Shatter Wally on phone as you did with when Joy 77 came to the studio? We will want to hear his side of the story as well. Well, I just did. Papa Gossi already comes, uh, comes again to say, to be frank, the solution the dissolution between the Shatawale and Arabi relationship overwhelmed us greatly. They looked inseparable and compatible. I agree with him, precipitating the filth in the camp. Most SM guys are replicating his 